I'm Claire Moulton, the publisher at the Company of Biologists, and to talk about the Declaration on Research Assessment, or DORA for short, I'm joined by Anna Hatch, the Programme Director for DORA. DORA grew out of uh, the need to challenge the use of journal-based metrics, such as the journal impact factors in research assessment, and instead the need to assess research on its own merits, and also to capitalise on digital technology in order to do this. DORA has produced a number of key recommendations for funders, research institutions, publishers, metrics providers and researchers. Anna, because our audience today is the publisher, let's focus in on those recommendations for publishers. Fabulous. Thank you, Claire. So the first recommendation is to avoid promoting journals by their impact factors alone. When you're presenting the impact factor, you should include it in a range of metrics that tell a fuller story about the journal. Number two is to focus on article level metrics so that authors and their institutions and funders can see the impact of that specific article from that specific author rather than judging it on the basis in which the journal where it was published. Recommendation three is to identify different author contributions to an article. For example, using the credit taxonomy so that it's clear who did the experimental work, contributed intellectual input or provided materials for research. The fourth recommendation is to open the bibliographic citation data from published articles through cross refs open references. And fifth, please encourage your authors to cite primary literature if authors know that the number of references they can include in their reference lists is limited or that the references contribute to the length limits of an article, then they are more likely to cite a small number of review articles rather than acknowledging the primary sources of the research. There are a number of examples highlighting change that's happening at publishers. Um, so for example, Plat Plus dedicated a page on its website um, describing how its journals are complying with DORA's recommendations. EMBO acknowledges DORA's signature and directs readers to a page with more information um, where they can learn about the responsible use of metrics. And the company of biologists uses a number of metrics that together provide a rich view of the journal's performance. So what can you do? First, you can find out whether your organization is already a signatory of DORA. If not, you can encourage them to sign the declaration and you can also sign the declaration yourself as an individual. Third, um, you can use our collection of good practices in DORA's resource library to help implement change. Um, and fourth, tell us about what you've done um, so that we can share it with others in the community. Um, we also have a list of useful links, um, including our list of signatories, um, a link to the credit taxonomy, um, as well as Crossref members um, who share open references. And DORA is not just about uh, collecting signatures, um, it's about positive change to promote the value of all scholarly outputs and to focus on the merits of the individual work. Um, DORA continues to evolve to better support good practice in research assessment and to extend its global reach. Good research assessment can have real impact on the lives of researchers by influencing hiring, promotion, and funding decisions. Um, and best practice makes for good research. Um, so please join us. Thank you so much. Thank you.